Okay. Yeah, let's see. This push inside, how does it exactly work? I, I'm not familiar with this because normally if white plays here, I just follow the proverb. So if black plays here, white plays this. So black extends, white plays Hane. Hane as well, makes sense. And wasn't there something like this? This also exists, right? This used to be some modern stuff. And if white plays here and black, I, I guess if white plays here, black should extend and black should be happy, I think. But someone, I think, also cut here. Yeah, and this my, looks, this looks a bit hard to control. So probably white plays here. I'm just following my intuition here. Okay, never mind. It looks complicated. I don't want to review this. Uh, anyway, I think white should connect and black play here. So basically, it's like connect, connect, compromise. They both should be happy at this situation. And probably G15 or G14 will be very big for middle game for both sides. So if white plays here, black plays Hane, double Hane. And then now black extends, white pushes, black extends, another extension. And then white captures the stone. I think white capturing the stone is a bit unreasonable because I think white should connect because the AJ is too big. Because if white plays here, uh, black plays Atari, white connects, I feel like this cutting point can be very annoying for white for later. So that's why that's why I feel like white should probably just connect solid here. And it looks evenish, I think. Like it looks like a close result, I guess. So yeah, this looks relatively fair. So this happened, but black didn't black didn't cut. Okay, so black knee wants to play some preparation. Well, normally I know that I was I was criticizing a lot of uh, iglo games that you activate opponents' weaknesses too early, but probably in this case it's reasonable because it's not really easy to solve this. But anyway, I appreciate I left some mark again. Okay, this this and then go out okay uh-huh mm -hmm. uh-huh yeah this looks like very annoying move for white and this shape is really bad i'm thinking about some kind of exchange No, actually not this time, not, well, you were a bit too soft, but I think Cesare was not soft here. Actually, Cesare is being really, relatively reasonable here. Just following the shapes, just doing normal stuff. That's how Golub should look like on a, on a done level, I think. But uh, White actually played a horrible move here, but so I'm thinking how to play instead. Well, first of all, I was thinking if white can actually can get all of these exchanges first. That's something what I would look for. But I'm not sure if white can get it because black can probably get uh, can get this Atari first. So let's get this. Then we can get the Atari. And then after white plays here, black plays here. Some, some, someone turn on the, turned on the sound. Uh -huh. Yeah. Be careful, I understand what they are saying. Yeah, anyway, uh if black plays here, I'm actually I'm actually thanks. I'm actually thinking what to do instead of this move. But you didn't manage to mute him in a very good way. Yeah, see, alterna alternative meeting. Uh huh. Okay. Uh huh. I need to wait because I don't. I I, I usually do not so happy when two people are speaking at the same time.
Yeah. Anyway, in the meantime, I'm thinking how I can solve this situation. Yeah, now should be good. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'm thinking how to solve it instead for white because if white just plays here, this is a this does cannot give a good result. But if white, can, how about if white can make this exchange, something like this? It's not bad for black, but just I'm just trying to find a reasonable way for white. Yeah, so I feel like this should be this should be better for white because if white is forced to play this shape, it looks problematic. Mm -hmm. I'm actually thinking if there is some variation, if black can play here, then this, this, but there is no next move. Okay, then then Kosumi is good. Push, interesting. Okay, but probably fine. So white plays here, black turns. White pushes, okay, and white tries to activate this Aji, which cannot do much. Well, actually, for white, it's really big to capture this stone, because if black can get to play there, then black can activate a lot of weaknesses in white's formation. So I'm actually thinking that uh, for later, it can be really good for, for black to play here. But anyway, black kicks and jumps okay white extends here and now here we go okay so so black just needed wanted to answer and then got the move okay yeah this extension is good for sure extension i'm also thinking if black can play here and then hane probably also considerable i think And white is trying to attack, so white probably doesn't accept that he's under attack and white is pretending that nothing is happening. Well, here white has to answer. This is necessary, because otherwise white's shape might collapse very soon. And probably something like this will happen later. Yeah, like, I know that white's shape is not ideal even on the left side. But uh, if black, after black peeps, white plays here, black has a, a lot of options how to do something. I'm actually wondering why black didn't turn. Why black didn't turn? Because if, because if white plays here, I feel like this black shape cannot, cannot serve, this white shape cannot stand this co black's combination. You are preparing for f13, but how about to do it this way? Isn't this more direct? How to prepare for the activation of F13 or G13 or so on? Yeah, this should be better, right? Yeah, Kosume is usually not great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because here we can see that White managed to solve the situation. Well, this move is very bad, because you want to keep this Atari for later. This Atari can be really useful. And again, you can uh, a bit cripple white's shape. And white actually is close to dying at this moment. Like, if black plays here, it can be really problematic. So, it might be a good combination, but black has to play here. Aha, uh -huh, so, uh -huh, so this move is working well here, okay, Atari, this, this, first this should be exchanged because it's some points and also some liberties, all of this I would exchange probably right away, because these liberties might matter, and in the game white has way, had way more liberties than one. So if this happens and black captures, the game is close to finish. In the game, White at least managed to take some points and also some liberties, so the game will probably not finish. Oops, I accidentally closed the game. Okay, so this, cut, yeah, seems like White overplayed here, for sure. Uh, white has to play here. And uh, White probably has to connect first, because aiming for, before aiming for connection, because at this moment it looks like White will just die. Is there any problem? Why not to play here? D5 leather and then this. 
Well, I know that white can play here, but isn't this good for, just good for black? Well, probably if you read this, then probably all fine. But still, I just feel like there must be some solution. Like, the letter is annoying, I can understand. But... Ah, I found a solution. It's super, super cool. Let's play here. Do we have an answer on this? Because if white plays here, we broke the ladder, right? And so black can directly play this one. Or we can also think about if white can do some stuff here, so play few Ataris than this, but black can still extend here. And white black can aim for another ladder. So I feel like this peep should sol should solve it probably. So this peep, if you find this peep, it's a striking game finished. Mm -hmm. So that's why this happened. Okay, extension and some core. Uh, so white prepares for the core here first. Yeah, this is a good solution. Just come back here. Because white probably cannot find any devastating uh, devastating sequence here. Yeah, I mean, like, the probably this white can do this, that's true. This connection. Wouldn't, wouldn't this be good enough? This is way good enough, right? Because black kept the corner, white just got some outside power, but O3 cut exists. So that's why I feel like just this is way good enough how to drive the game home. Yeah, so this was not necessary because here white got the chance to to capture something. Yeah, so white is still in theory in the game. Also this extension is pretty bad. Like uh, you should keep this keep this possibility. So go down. This Atari is also not so good because you want to keep this honey. Right? And Atari and Atari and some squeezes and so on. So we don't want to ruin the possibility. Also throw in at Q5 can be good. So uh, that's why I think this, uh, this exchange is not good. Still, it doesn't change the fact you you shouldn't play Atari, which doesn't which uh, doesn't give you any benefit. And yeah, something important rem reminder: you know which game is the hardest to win? A one game. Like you know, uh, are you guys watching football? I guess some of you do, right? So basically, this is a game. This is something like. You are leading 3-0 at the break and the opponent has one red card. It's not that easy to drive the game home because everyone believes you will win. There is no other option, but you can still blunder or do some huge mistake. So actually, uh, this is actually a moment where the game starts actually and or go 8-0, yeah. <laughs> also a possibility, but risky, right? So anyway, uh, so. Uh, what I wanted to say, <laughs> Brazil Germany. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah. So actually, the game ends when the opponent resigns, or the or, or we pass, or some, or when the opponent runs out of time. Otherwise, we are still playing. We are in the game. The game doesn't end until that moment. So we should never get a feeling that we just want the game to be end. That simply cannot happen because that's something uh, which can help us to lose a one game. Probably not in this case because black is just still too far ahead. Yeah, seems like yeah this happened and this is game finished. Okay, but uh, well, yeah, indeed, uh, someone said here that Cesar did really well in, the, in this game. Indeed, he did, but I didn't like the way how. Black was driving the game home. That was not driving, that was still trying to keep white in the game, let's say. 
So still it was probably not easy to lose this game, but uh, the attitude how to do it on the right side, there were too many mistakes. Even though they didn't matter, but uh, there, were, there were still a lot of bad stuff. But indeed, in the first half, uh, Black did super well. And uh, I especially like the way how Black actually act activated the edges on the left side, like step by step. Just the edge around F13 could work way better, of course. But step by step, trying to activate the edge is not always easy, but you are learning. That's good. You are not too direct anymore. Yeah, and we just could see, like, uh, White just played some bad shapes, some overplays, and White collapsed. Black, you don't have to do that much, right? Yeah, so any questions about this game? All good, that's nice to hear. Okay, stop it.